This project has been three years in the making, and it's only real because you supported it. Like any good D&D campaign, this all started with an idea. I just wanted to play a D&D game with other Desi people. <gasps> How about a nat 20? Oh! It is my passion to share the wonderful place I come from in my culture with all of you. You're about to have the Bollywood experience. Through time and space, everything seems to stop. No! This looks so fun. <laughs> I am so honored to be joined right now in studio by Anjali Bimani, who has been on The Sopranos, Modern Family, NCIS, you name it. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. This is a really fun place to be right before the holidays. It is. It's, it's, it's such a lovely way to wrap the year up. Isn't it? Yeah. And we have to celebrate your nomination. Let's talk about the award show right around uh, the Golden Globes. Yeah, so it's the uh, it's the Hollywood Creative Alliance Astra Awards, and uh, I'm nominated for Best Supporting Actor Actress in a, in a streaming series for Ms. Marvel, which was, I, I, it might sound cliche, but I really am, I was so shocked at the nomination that I'm genuinely 100% just thrilled to be nominated. The women in this category are unfathomably talented. And, uh, and I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited to get dressed up and hang out with them and, and support the show and support the other shows. It's a really good time. Well, let's talk about the new show that you have out as well. Mm -hmm. So Desi Quest is so much fun. Yes. I've been watching clips. I don't know how to play Dungeons and Dragons, but by watching y'all, I want to play. So here's the thing. Dungeons and Dragons and any what we call tabletop role playing games, TTRPGs, all of them are open book tests with friends helping you. So you never have to worry about because the whole game is really about storytelling. It's collaborative storytelling. And what we wanted to do with Desi Quest specifically is that we wanted to set it in a fantasy world that was a little different than the standard ones, the standard Lord of the Rings kind of things, um, that was specifically tailor-made to be akin to the South Asian subcontinent and India, which is the culture that all of us lead characters came, uh, lead actors come from. So um, our, our dungeon master created this world called Vahar, which is based on India, and all of the players are playing Indian characters. And then we bring in people as guests who are not necessarily part of the Indian culture or have, don't have that background because we want people to know we're inviting you to the yes. party. That's how we learn. That's how we learn about other cultures. It's not by you being worried about offending someone or something like that. Come, come to our party, share with us. We'll tell you what everything means. We'll help you play the game. Just come be with us in this magical fantasy world. And we have had such a wonderful time with it. Well, it does feel like you're playing with friends and family. Yeah. Okay, so let's also talk about Ms. Marvel. <laughs> what an incredible role. I, you know, uh, if someone had told me years ago that I would get to be a part of the Marvel Universe, I would have not believed it. But then if someone told me that I would have played an auntie in the Marvel <laughs> Universe, then I'm like, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So yeah, it's been, it's an, uh, what a great show, what a great team. Everybody from the top down, from, from Kevin Feige and Luis Esposito to Sana Amanat, the, 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 um, the creator and and Bisha Ali and then of course our beautiful lead Iman Vellani like everyone it was such a labor of love for everyone on that set and everyone behind the camera and in front of the camera every day was an absolute joy to be there and I'm just I'm so excited that now the world has not just Iman who is yeah. incredible but the world has this this depiction of a family just like yours or mine or anyone else's that just happens to have this cultural background. And I think that's the way forward in general with people understanding each other is that it's not about we're not one thing. Yes. We're not, we, we aren't our culture or our gender. We aren't those, we're all these unique things that make us the person that we are. And that coming of age story for Ms. Marvel, for Kamala is, is exactly that kind of, that, that absolutely shows that trajectory. Well, I love your your celebrated career, all the roles you've done, but you're also an author. I am, I am. So I, I did a web series called I Am Fun Size uh, years ago that I had created as a love letter to the gaming community when I did my first Ooh. video game. Mm -hmm. And uh, many people had said that they wanted me to make it into a book, and so I did. I published it through my company, um, Tiny Paws Publishing, uh, in 2022, and we hit number five so on cute. the, I know, the illustrations are my favorite. There's pictures of my dog, there's just all sorts of stuff in there. But it's basically what I like to call it 
is uh, your buddy in a book. You don't have to read it straight through. You can pick it up and read. Pick it up and read at any story. It's just something to help people know that they're not alone. I love that. And that they would be missed if they were gone. So, so pick this up. Carry your buddy in a book with you. See the cute pictures of the dog. Great illustrations. Um, and, I love and it. And hopefully people will enjoy it. Well, congrats on all of your success, Angelique. Thank it's you. It's been so great having you. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's been really fun. Of course.